Hi everyone, welcome to CodeFlow. In this video, I'll guide you step-by-step -step on how to connect the front panel wires to the X870E Aorus Xtreme AI Top motherboard. These connections are crucial for powering up your PC and ensuring the front panel features like the power button, reset button, and LEDs work correctly. Quick tip, if you don't find the Wi-Fi connector, look near the PCIe slots. Connect the Wi-Fi EZ plug to ensure power for wireless features. Align it carefully and press firmly. Before starting the front panel setup, have you set up your M.2 SSD correctly? Let's explore how. There are two types of M.2 SSDs, SATA and PCIe. This motherboard supports only M.2 PCIe SSDs. Please note, M.2 PCIe SSDs cannot be used to create a RAID set with SATA drives. Installing an M.2 drive is simple. First, slide the latch to remove the heatsink and lift it. Insert the M.2 drive into the slot at an angle and press gently until it clicks into place. Use the same process for attaching and removing any drive of this system. Finally, reattach the heatsink securely for cooling. For the M.2 EZ, you can detach it from the motherboard if needed. Now let's move on to the front panel wire connections. Let's first locate the front panel header on the motherboard. This header is located near the bottom right corner. It's labeled F panel and contains pins for essential connections like the power switch, reset switch, and LEDs. Refer to your motherboard's user manual if your model is different than this. Now let's look at the wires from your PC case. Depending on your case, you may have one of three types of wire sets labeled as power switch, reset switch, HDD LED, and power LED. These labels help you connect each component correctly to the motherboard's front panel header. If it doesn't have text marking, then each wire has a small arrow or marking that indicates the positive side, especially for LEDs, since polarity matters for them. Now let's start with an easy one, connecting the speaker. On the front panel header, you'll find its pins located at the upper right part of the motherboard with four pins. Align the connector with the pins and press it gently into place. In general, most motherboard speaker connectors are non-polarized. However, it is always a good practice to follow the positive and negative markings on the motherboard and connector to ensure proper alignment and prevent potential confusion when troubleshooting. So you can follow the diagram I provide on screen. Where you can see left part of the speaker pin is positive. On the same line next to the speaker, you'll see two pins labeled power switch. Connect the wire so that it fits snugly over these two pins. Orientation doesn't matter for this one. Next, connect the reset switch wire. Just like the power switch, this wire goes over the two pins labeled reset, and it is located, it is located just below the power switch. Again, orientation is not important here. Now let's connect the LEDs. In the upper part, next to the power switch, you'll find two pins for the power LED where the left pin is positive. Plug the power LED plus wire into the positive pin and the power LED lash into the negative pin to ensure proper LED function. Similarly, for the HDD LED located just below the power LED, connect the wires to the respective pins marked for the, for the HDD LED. Be sure to match the polarity correctly with the positive pin on the left. This ensures proper LED functionality for hard drive activity. The chassis intrusion header is a motherboard connector used to monitor whether the computer case, chassis, has been opened. It can detect if, if the case is opened or not. If your case has a connector for this feature, you can connect it to the two-pin header next to the reset switch, with the right pin being positive. Once all the connections are in place, double-check that each connector is seated firmly and in the correct position. A loose connection can cause the front panel features to malfunction. And that's it! Your front panel wires are now properly connected to the motherboard. Power up your PC to ensure everything works as expected. If you have any questions or run into issues, feel free to leave a comment below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more PC building tips. Thanks for watching.